Welcome to Chapter 2 of our story, where the past and present intertwine in the cozy warmth of a historic library. Here, the air is thick with the scent of aged paper, and the soft glow of brass lamps casts a golden hue over the rows of books that line the walls like sentinels of time. Join us as we delve into a tale of discovery and adventure, where secrets of the past beckon to be uncovered. Stay tuned as Clara Thompson and Jake Morales embark on a journey that will change their lives forever. This is Storyteller, bringing you tales that captivate and inspire. In the heart of the historic library, Clara Thompson stood at the entrance, her heart fluttering with anticipation. She clutched a photograph, the catalyst for her quest for knowledge. Beside her, Jake Morales bounced on his heels, his mischievous grin illuminating the dim space. The library, a sanctuary of whispers and secrets, felt alive, as if the very walls were eager to share their stories. Clara's journey was about to begin, a journey that would unravel the mysteries of her family's past and the town of Frostwood. The photograph she held was more than just an image. It was a key to unlocking the secrets of time. Mr. Harold Finch, the town historian, welcomed Clara and Jake with a twinkle in his eye his spectacles perched precariously on the bridge of his nose. Ah, Clara, Jake, come in, come in, he beckoned, his voice a warm embrace. As they settled into the worn leather chairs, Clara felt a sense of belonging wash over her. Mr. Finch began to weave tales of Frostwood's history, his words painting vivid pictures of the past. Clara listened intently, her imagination ignited by the stories of the Winter Festival a celebration that had once brought the town together in joy and sorrow. The library was not just a place of books. It was a portal to the past, a place where history came alive. As Mr. Finch explained the significance of the Winter Festival, Clara's mind raced. You see, the Winter Festival is not just a celebration. It's a reminder of our roots, of the cycles of life that bind us all. Mr. Finch explained, his hands gesturing animatedly. Clara recalled the photograph, its edges frayed and its colors faded, yet pulsing with an energy that felt almost alive. Could it hold the key to her family's past? As the conversation deepened, Clara grappled with the ethical implications of her quest. Was she prepared to confront the shadows of history? The photograph was more than a relic. It was a portal to understanding her family's history.